Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. And I was gonna just show you one pattern you can use in order to create um, a single page application using web components. Um, yeah, so let's just set up the project. Okay, and I'm actually gonna mix this with jQuery, which I mean, I guess the point of web components was to make it so you don't have to use any libraries, but I figured why not? Um, so let's do this. Let's create a new project. Um, yep. New web component div, because we're going to be extending div component, div, div uh, elements. So I'm going to create a new file, which is going to be HTML. Oh no, index.html. And then I'm going to create a new app.js. And then we are going to set up our boilerplate for HTML, and then I am going to, well, in the app.js, I'm not gonna do anything yet, but I do need to put my script tag, script, uh, script source with my app.js and a defer keyword, and then I'm gonna copy over the jQuery thing. So I already have the jQuery script tag over here, so I'll just copy from there, boop. Okay, save. So that is all set for now. So basically, I'm going to use jQuery very lightly. What I'm going to do is mainly use web components. So we'll just do is create three small web components just to kind of show you what I mean. Okay, so a web component is essentially a, a class you can define in JavaScript that becomes an HTML tag. So you can actually register it as an HTML tag. So the ones I'm going to use today is I'm going to extend the div class. So we're just going to take a normal div element and create a new element out of it. So the way you do that is you do class. We'll say home. Actually, we'll use a capital. Home extends HTML div element. Okay. And that's going to extend the div. Yay. Um, and then just like any element you could I mean like any class you can have a constructor okay and then you can have it do whatever you want at the onset it takes no parameters because it's an HTML tag we can't pass in per parameters into an HTML tag but we can do things like set it like create like a whole page so we can just sit there and say something like this which is the element okay and just like any HTML element it has its own inner HTML so you can sit there and say this dot inner HTML Enter HTML equals okay, and then you can just basically use backticks and write a whole bunch of HTML. So that's what we'll do. We're gonna say this um, use an H1, H1. This is the main page. Click this button. So I'll just put that in P tag. Button to see the next page. Okay, to see the next page. And then I'll create a button. Okay, next page. Okay, so this dot inner HTML. So basically what's gonna happen is that when we put this HTML element on the page, it's automatically gonna put this HTML inside of it. Um, so that's cool. Then, let's see what else I wanted to do. Once this is, and then what I can do is I can pass in this function here, connected callback. What this does, it runs this function the minute that the the component renders. Okay, and what I can basically do is try to, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an ID on this button. ID page one. Okay, ID page one for now. I'm gonna keep the, 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 the click event simple. So here's where I'm gonna use jQuery. Um, I could just use a normal 
plain vanilla JavaScript code, but you know, I'm making this for all those people who also know jQuery. So we'll say um, jQuery selector. So I'm going to select the element that has an ID of page one. And what I want to do is add a event listener on click. So this is going to be a click event. And for now, all I wanted to do is just alert. Hello. Okay, so the connect. So basically, the way this works is that this runs the minute it sees the HTML tag, and then this runs once the HTML tag is rendering. This is just built into how JavaScript works. But for it to be an HTML tag, I have to use custom elements dot define. I have to use this function. And what I got to do is first put in the name of the HTML tag. So we'll call this page one. Has to have a shish kebab name. So it has to be a name like that. Okay. And we'll call it page one. And then we have to name the class, which we have here, home. That is sort of basically that is that um, tag. So whenever this tag is used, it's going to use this class. So let's just see if that works. So I'm going to go back to my HTML. I'm going to put in a div. Actually, we'll call it main so I can easily refer to it. And then we're going to use page one. OK, there's the thing. So now let's open this up in the browser. Open with live server. Mm, let me think about that. Why didn't that quite exactly work? Let's take a look. See if there's any. Oh, here we go. I must call super constructor. Oh, forgot to call super. You're always supposed to call super in the constructor. My bad. See, the console is your best friend. Always read the console for errors. Okay, it'll save you a lot of time. Super. Okay, that should work now. Okay, so got an illegal constructor. Autonomous custom elements must extend HTML element. Oh, okay, so they want me to have to extend not the div element, but HTML element. So. Actually, I think I can do this. Control. Ah, no. There we go. I think I have to put it in here. Let me just go back to the docs. Yeah, there we go. So I have to think I have to put this in here. Extends div. So that way it knows. Let's see if it works now. Okay, no more errors, but no more element. Why? Let's see here. Page one. This dot internet HTML. That should do it. Super this dot internet HTML. Okay, or I'll just do it the way they want me to do it. I was trying to see if I could do something fun and tricky, but we'll just do what you're supposed to always do and extend the HTML element class. Now, if you do it that way, let's take a look. And yeah, now it works. Okay, this is the main page. Okay. And you click the button and say hello. So the, the event works. So the element does what we want it to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another one for page two. Okay, so I'll just copy all that and we'll just call this next page. Okay, so we'll say this is the second page. Click this button and you'll see the next page, button ID, page one, next page, yada, yada, yada. And we're going to call this page two. Okay, and then we're going to use next page as the class. Next page. Okay, and I'll leave it like that for now. So then over here in my connected callback, the function when that button gets clicked is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to say when that button gets clicked, what I want it to do is take the main div. Okay, the, that main element. Okay, dot empty, empty that out, so that way it has nothing inside of it. And then what I wanted to do is create a new page two. Now that I've defined that element, a new page two, and I need to put the the carrots around it so it's a new one. 
pick, pick a new page two. And actually, what I want to do is I want to append it to the main. So dot empty. So maybe I should do this. See if this works. Dot append page two. Okay, and oh, this needs a parentheses around it. There we go. So basically, we're saying empty out the main div and then append a new page two to it when I click this button. So that's going to happen when I click this button. So when I go back here, let's see what happens. If I click on this, okay, it emptied it out and then it created the new page two. Or did it? It did, but let's see here. Something's wrong with my page two. Did I forget? Did I define it wrong? Page two, next page, next page. This is the second page. Did the text change? No, no text showed up. Let's see here. Extend HTML. So does it stop on the empty? So should I do? Yeah, I should do it this way. Control. Actually, let's take a look at the console. Is there any errors? Here we go. Fail to construct custom element. The result must not have children. Uh, uh, uh. Home, next page, extends HTML element. I mean, this is technically the exact same thing. We should probably change this to page two. And let's try that again. Okay, I have a feeling that is because the way I did this. So let's try this a different approach. Let's take a different approach. Instead of me emptying the main div, what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to take the main div and then append the new page two. And then I'm gonna take the page one and remove it. Okay, so let's see if that works. And that works, okay. Hello. Okay, so that works. So basically what happens, I guess before what happens is that I'm removing it before I do the change. So basically the function kind of like interrupts itself. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm adding the new thing, at then removing the existing element and that seems to work just fine. But you see what I did is just by creating more of these HTML elements, each one could be its own page. So you could build out all the HTML here and it's just one way you could theoretically, not the necessarily my favorite way, but one way you could see it theoretically create a single page application um, with separate pages like this. Okay, uh, using uh, web components. Again, not my favorite use of web components, but it's something you can do and hopefully uh, all you're doing is again defining it this way. So you can watch this video again to see how I set that up, but you can create as many of these as you want and they can all link to each other and create each other to create a, well, a full on page it feels like lots of pages all in one fell swoop thank you very much have a great day and enjoy